Yeah. Ha ha. Bill Nemesis. Boy, Bill Nemesis coming back with another review. And today, today was the big day. You had the whole iOS 13 announcement, but you also had what the Apple features were coming out. Now, me being an iPad user, was it worth going to the seventh generation iPad? Uh, quite honestly, from what I saw, I'm gonna have to say uh, I'm. I'm I'm undecided because this, this, I didn't see much of an upgrade. You got a faster processor and you have a faster or better, I want to say camera, but I didn't see anything that would warrant me to say, absolutely go from iPad, you know, your, your original iPad 9.7 to a 10.2 inch retina uh, display. I, I think that, hey, maybe some people like the features, but me personally, I like performance. I like production. Um, and quite honestly, with the new iOS 13 supposedly re- released the next week, um, I don't know. I really don't see anything that, that warrants me to say, okay, let's just trade in what I have now to upgrade to what I want to do. Now, again, you're looking at these tasks, but these tasks are also available on, if you have an iPad, the 9.7 that I'm on, or a Pro that you're on, they, they, they're going to be available next week. Uh, these are all features. Um, but you know, I have the pen. I have the pencil right now. I'm, I'm actually talking to you on the the AirPods. So, from what I saw, based off today's hmm, <laughs> introduction uh, to the new services and the, the new products, me personally, I, I would, from a professional standpoint, I would honestly tell you to wait. Now, the one thing that's cool is that I like this Lightning USB portion where you can stick into the actual um, iPad uh, you can see that right there where it says grab file from anywhere uh, while it's cool the only problem I have with this is can you import and export again uh, one of the issues I had when I used the the adapter that lightning adapter uh, with the USB portion option is that I could definitely import videos and photos and things like that but I could not export so if I can export to this device then I think it's worth grabbing uh, but again, this device, it, it's its an attachment, it's an adapter, and if the pencil works, I can't see why this wouldn't work on your 6th gen iPad. So, <laughs> from an iPad experience, I think that the users that have this, you, you even saw it during his display where he talked about um, how 60% of the users that use Apple, um, the Apple product, 60% of them are using this, the, the iPad. Um, and that's, that's, to me, is quite... <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot for your your um, your, your company. Uh, but you know what? These these iPads that I think that people aren't really giving credit to. Uh, me personally, I didn't really think that this was going to be mind blowing. But this experience in working with an iPad is good. Now my cell phone still remains Android. That'll never change. But for production, uh, again, I use this for work. I use this for the YouTube uh, channel that I'm, I'm currently working on. Um, and, and there are various other things. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, your boy Mel never said, tell me what you think. Are you going to go to the seventh generation iPad? Uh, you know, again, iOS 13 will be releasing next week. So, whether you have the seventh generation or the sixth generation, expect to see that iOS update. I think it's going to have some good features. The layout will look different. Um, it's going to look spicy. Spicy. It's going to look spicy. It's going to look spiffy. <laughs> so, your boy Mel never said, iOS 13, look for that release to be next week. So, you know, you know what it is. You know, you subscribe to me, I subscribe to you. Um, and also, I think that I actually did a video, if I'm not mistaken, there should be a video that I'm going to release that shows people how to um, conserve battery life, if you, especially if you have an iPad, maybe even an iPhone. Actually, you know what? I'll cover that real quick because that's, that's, that quite honestly is like 10 seconds. So if you have, if you go to settings, right, and you go to any of these apps, just watch out for apps that do this. See that option where it says background app refresh? Um, if you don't need your application to run in the background, my, me personally, just turn it off. Because quite honestly, when you open up a new application, it's going to refresh most of the times. Um, apps like, um, you, you, like your bank, you want that to refresh in the background because it will send you up-to-date um, 
notifications should somebody have hacked your account, things like that. Um, but you know, other things like that, you don't need the, I don't need my files TV to update in the background. I don't need Gmail to do it quite honestly, because I can manually just hit the, um, the, the window from the top down to refresh and get the, the new, um, email notifications. Uh, but there's certain things, there's so many apps that, that have this on. <clears throat> and what happens is when you have that application running in the background, it's technically draining your batteries, participating to drain your battery. Um, so if you turn that off, if you go through all your apps and turn off the unnecessary apps to uh, keep them from running in the background, trust me, you will save a lot of battery life. Uh, so your boy Mill never sent I am out, and you guys have yourself a lovely tech day.